So I don't know if y'all know, but I actually just learned this the other day because I was curious as to why Billy just kind of stays far away from the girls when he used to just be right there with them. And guys it is Dorothy with six day ranch um, I'm just gonna give you guys a couple quick updates on some things that we're doing around here on the animals we had a pretty good storm roll through this morning which had really high winds I just want to show you guys our chicken tractor withstood all that so that's a good plus that we built it sturdy enough um, we left the pool filling up overnight and so I just want to show you I'm actually gonna grab these buckets out of here now that it's full enough and then I'm actually going to try to get some of these leaves out that are floating just to kind of help it to where when we get that pump installed I can just vacuum it. And then we'll take care of all the animals so I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll check on everybody else. Alright guys it looks like all of our little laying hens and roosters survived. You all survive it okay? You have some crazy winds huh? We're going to move y'all today. Yep. Because y'all are getting all that ground ready for our watermelons that you can't have, even though you'll really want it. I hear you. I'm going to go get your eggs. How many did you leave us? You going to get it? <laughs> I'm gonna bring y'all some food too. They already think I have food, so they're following me. But I'm just gonna oh y'all left a lot. Look at those pretty and clean eggs. Doesn't look like the pigs will get any today. Such pretty eggs. Looks like we got 13 today. A little baker's dozen. I'll be back with some food. Very soon. I know. Very soon. I can already hear those piglets. They see me already. I don't know if y'all can see the little ducks. Let's see. She's sitting on her eggs. I know. Hey guys. Hey. I'm going to put some more hay in here. Y'all survived that storm okay? Looks like it. Y'all want some food? And some more water since I watched you on the camera dump it out again. Okay, I'll be right back. Stop it. You're not coming out. Stop. They keep trying to eat me. Spoiled. Don't. At least you stopped eating our boots. <laughs> Stop! I'm trying to eat the handle. Why? You're stubborn. You're the one that's most mischievous. Really? I'm not food! <laughs> I'm not food! Why'd you jump on me? 
really dirty already. Would you stop? <laughs> Seriously, why? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that to you. Oh, you want some from the... Huh? Nope, you just want to eat me. All right, I'll be back with some food so you'll stop eating. Can I have this? Can I have this? You hungry? You need to rinse out your water bowl first. You should have already done that. I wasn't paying attention because you were eating me. Hmm? Tell me about it. Really? All right, guys. So before I go feed the chickens, I'm gonna go and get a bale of hay and put more hay down in that pig's area just to help. I don't know if you can see, the goats already saw me, so they are hollering for me. Where's Billy? We're missing a goat. Where is he? Oh, way over there. Hey, Jules. Hi, sweet thing. Hi. Hi, Tushy. You survived the storm okay? Rough night? Morning? Hey, Bills. Hi, Billy. You just love all the loving. You and your big floppy ears. Here comes Rip. Hi, Rip. No, you don't want to come over here? You got a fly on your face. Huh. Tush. You're gonna get your horn stuck if you do that. All right, we're gonna go get some hay and put it in the pig pen. Are y'all okay with that? All right, guys, we're gonna let their water keep filling up. It's going really slow just because we have the water on in the pool. And then we're gonna go feed the chickens, make sure that they have plenty of water. And then we'll come back and check on theirs. And uh, we should be good to go. That should be everybody. We try not to feed the goats every day just because they are pasture raised. So they get a lot of their food and things like that out of the pasture. But also we provide them with a pail that has a lot of the nutrients that they can get when they feel like they're lacking it because you know God provided them with a means to tell with what they need or when they need it so they'll be able to just eat on that whenever they want to and I can show you all exactly what it is but that's why they're hollering because we don't feed them every day we feed them like once to twice a week just as a little treat so they're way back there yep there she is she thinks she's getting fed today she got fed yesterday so we're just going to take care of those chickens now try to beat them because you see they just attack it they go nuts over their food they act like they're starving is that good girls and guy oh. yummy yummy food y'all are all so soft oh sorry I didn't mean to scare you Yeah, you're 
so soft. You don't really like to be a pet, I understand. You like to not be touched. There we go. Ah! Get! Well, that failed. Why are you in there? Get out of there. You're just so soft and friendly. Hi, Mr. Rooster. All right. And they've got good plenty of water on these hot days because it's starting to get hot out here. All right, guys, excuse the goats hollering in the background. They swear they're going to get fed today, but I promise they're not starved. They have plenty of green grass that they can go and eat on in the pasture. And of course, they ate all of our dewberries out of our dewberry plant out there, So, which we kind of figured so. But we didn't get but a single one. So next thing I'm going to do is my amazing husband bought this fancy little water hose. It's one of those expandables. And then like whenever there's no water in it, it like decreases or whatever. So we're just going to attach that to where the um, irrigation system is hooked up on the water hose with a splitter just so that way I can have it to water things like our rosemary plant over here and our strawberries because our strawberries aren't looking too good. I need to trim it. And then of course our mint and our big rosemary plant. But I just want to show you guys our garden. I'm sure they really, really enjoyed that rainwater that we got so I actually need to go through and obviously as you can see and weed it so I can do that today but look at how big this stuff has grown like look some of this stuff is already almost big enough that we can pick it like this looks rotted so we can actually oh look it just fell right off so we can actually feed that to the the pigs and then we have a whole bunch growing right over here just all over the place it's so cool so, oh, even, even right there. And then I saw the other day, we actually have little tomatoes growing. I don't know if y'all can see those. And then we've got, I just saw it, where'd it go? I just saw it. No, where'd it go? I saw, I swear I just saw a tomato one here. Maybe not, maybe I'm seeing things. I'll probably find it again after I turn off the video. Always happens that way. But. I mean, our tomato plants are doing really good. Yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, right there. That's where it is. I knew I saw something, so we got a little tomato growing there. These are actually be full-size tomatoes. And then it's time to pick these peppers, which I'll come out and cut them off. I'm excited to try one of these. Those are the Hungarian yellow wax peppers. So we're going to weed it, and then we're going to hook up that splitter real quick. And it's just going to go right here. Right, guys so I don't know if you can see this is the water hose that I was talking about it actually comes with a mount but we probably won't use it I'll set it to the side in case Steven wants to hook it up somewhere uh, we'll post the link down below for this it's actually a really pretty blue I think it's turning out a little purple on the video and it actually has a little on off switch right here like a little valve that you can turn on and off and it came with a really pretty blue again I don't know if it's turning blue showing blue almost like a teal uh, nozzle and we're just gonna attach it and we'll get it all together and I'll show you how it works this is just the little splitter that we got just basic that we got from TSC you can turn which side on and off we're obviously going to leave this left side on all the time because it's going to be hooked up to this and then this one we can actually turn it on and off from here and if we don't want to use that of course so we'll probably leave this one on and then just you know control by this one so we're just gonna hook that up real quick This is literally all it takes. And then we're just gonna leave it here. And wrong end. Hook this side up. Then we'll hook our sprayer on. We'll actually test it out, see how it goes. Super excited for it. 
And it came in a little bit of a nice storage bag that you can use. So I'm just gonna put the plastic in there and then put this in there in case Steven wants to mount it somewhere. It actually, let me see. I did not see this. So it does have a seal in there, a rubber gasket type thing, but it looks like it came with extras. So that'll be good, you know, if we ever lose them. We're always losing these things and we never take the time to go buy more. We just kind of let the water hose leak and we use it sometimes. So that'll be good to have. So I'm just gonna put those back in the bag. I just wanna make sure that they are in there. Not sure which way is on and off. I'm assuming that's on. So. so I don't want to water the garden anymore. So I'm just going to turn this one off. But to turn on the water, we actually have to come over here to where we have it plugged in. We have a timer um, plugged up. So that way we don't have to worry about turning it on by ourselves or anything like that. And forgetting or ruining our plants. So you're just going to, we're just going to do manual. And I'll do 10 minutes and you'll actually, I don't know if you'll hear it on here, but you can hear it click on. There it goes. So come over here. We'll see how big that water hose gets. All right, guys, now we've tried it. You can actually see that this water hose is expanding as it's filling up. It's kind of cool to watch. You can see it moving. So much better. Now we can water our rosemary. I would water it now, but we got so much rain this morning, there's no point. So good to know it works. Really nice. I'm sure we'll probably install the little hanging thing just to keep it up off the ground and keep it nice and and clean. Which speaking of, it's all in dirty water, so let's go ahead and get that out. And that's it. Just such a simple connection. Hey guys, so if y'all saw our previous video or one of our previous videos, Steven and I brought back to life this guy right here. It's just, an, um, we had started it, had a plan for it, and then we had changed our mind, and we actually turned it into a chicken brooder now. We're not quite finished with it, we just gotta put the roof on and uh, some wire across the front. But before we do that, Steven is giving me time to paint it, and I'm just gonna paint it red and white, but before I do that, since it rained last night, I'm gonna go ahead and just pressure wash it and then give it a couple days to dry. Unless, of course, rain decides to come back in again, which I don't think any of it is on the forecast right now. So I'm just going to take you guys along for the ride for that and let you guys watch me pressure wash that just to get the extra grime off. And then after it dries, you can uh, check out how it, how it turns out after I paint it. should have done it before but this is obviously new wood that we had used that we just had stored so I just went ahead and pressure washed it and got some of this dirt off of it and then down here it was really caked on and all of the bottom pieces so I'm curious to see how well that dries but we have it done and since I have the pressure washer out and I still have daylight left I'm just gonna go ahead and try and pressure wash most of this concrete just because it looks so bad maybe I can help bring it back to life
right guys, the concrete is done. Um, obviously, whenever you have equipment out like this, you want to just take care of everything that you can or, you know, that's been piling up. This unfortunately hasn't been piling up, but we are actually going to, I'm just going to spray down the mule. It's been getting pretty dirty and muddy and things like that. So we're just going to take care of that real quick. And then I just want to say, I hate this time of year just because, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say, hey, I just like highly this time of year because these little black and red bugs, we call them love bugs around this area, they just come out all over the place. And that means anytime you drive anywhere, you're just going to be going through a lot of washer fluid and they're just a nuisance. They don't bite you or anything. They just fly around and they like to stick to you for some reason. I don't like them. So unfortunately, it's that time of year. I've seen a whole bunch out today. So we got to deal with that, but that's okay. It only lasts for about a month or two. Hopefully it'll hurry up and just get through so that way we don't have to worry about them. But it is what it is. So I'm going to take care of this mule. And then while I was pressure washing the concrete, I forgot to show you guys that pail that I was talking about with the goats this morning. And I'll go show you guys that once I'm done with the mule. So don't want to forget that. I told y'all I wouldn't forget. They're actually over here just sitting next to it. They're not even eating it. So that means that they're really healthy and they don't need any of the vitamins or things that's in it. And I'm gonna show you just what we got. We got it from Tractor Supply. It's pretty affordable. We can put the link down below for that. I know she thinks that she's getting food. Right. Oh, sweet jewels. Look, Rip is actually eating on it right now. So, I just want to show you. We've had this almost a week now, and they've barely done anything to it. I don't know if you can see that, but this is it. It's just, a, whoa, let me get that sun out of there. So, it's just a goat care pill, and I'll zoom in and show you guys so y'all can just see what's in it. Yes, Jules. <laughs> now they want to eat it. So, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a whole bunch of sorry there's a whole bunch of different minerals in their percentages and things like that so all you do is you just see it, set it out here and when they feel like they need something they just eat it don't they hi hi you like the camera hi tushy and billy's way over there I'm just guarding He's getting his billy goat instincts. So I don't know if y'all know, but I actually just learned this the other day because I was curious as to why Billy just kind of stays far away from the girls when he used to just be right there with them. And over time, as he gets older, he's only a little over a year old now. As he gets older, he's gonna start staying farther and farther away from the girls unless they're in heat because he wants to stand back, kind of protect his herd and things like that. So that's just natural for him to stay over there and I have to get used to it because there's a couple times today that I've like looked out for him because they've been hollering at me and I couldn't find him but he was just hiding far off in the distance so real quick I'm gonna show you guys what the concrete looks like now that it's starting to dry it looks a lot white a lot more white now looking a lot better and even this wood over here it's still wet obviously because I just got it wet again but starting to look like normal wood again as it dries so hopefully maybe tomorrow if it doesn't rain again i'll be able to come out and i can paint this and show you guys other than that i hope you guys like today's video and if you'll hit that like and subscribe button down below we'll see you next time